DMO, and now we got Mr. Bob Sagu. Bob Sagu, hey. That's right. Come on. Salah, right? Is there anything better? Do it again. Do it again. Is there anything better than having your own name tag and everyone knowing what it is? Crazy. Sick it's crazy. It. I mean, it's actually better than the previous one because people used to shout in the street, and that's yeah. kind of uncomfortable, especially when you. What before you release the that used to happen too. Uh, but Bob Sago is it's, it's, it's more tasteful. So we've seen yeah. you, man, homeschooling, making beats. What's it been like? Tell us what it's been it's like. The same, man. Same with you guys. I mean, for the people in the wedding industry, we're, we're super busy on the weekends. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And not having that, 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 that point of performing, you know, you, you miss it. So for me, and the good thing is with lockdown, it's obviously we, uh, apart from the fact that we're not DJing and loss of income, um, I found the time to do something else that I really enjoyed, which is producing, like on a regular basis. For me, I only had enough time in the year to produce singles, just like you have, mm. Rajiv and all of you. We all only produce singles that we actually get time for for, our, for ourselves. Now I got to work on just me as an art with production, and I never got to do that before because we were just so busy on the road. When you're in the wedding season, you almost feel like you're obliged to just appeal to the wedding audience. Absolutely. But it's like one year gave us that time off to explore other avenues of music. And then for you, I saw that you went into do your studio sessions, releasing sample packs. It must be like therapy for you, right? You know, it is. It is. And um, a good friend of mine's here today, Mita Shukla. She's a, she's a therapist. Um, and um, like, it's, it's, it's good to have something that you can put your energy into, which is positive. For me, it was, <clears throat> was, was making music because it is, is like therapy. If I can't perform, I've got to make music. Mm. And if I'm going to make music, I want to project it to the world. This is how I do it. This is how you can do it. And there's a lot of people that have, that have, that, you know, that are signing, you know, that just decided to start producing. They've always wanted to do it, but they've never really had the confidence or had the direction. Um, but they've, they've seen that with me, which is, really all I wanted to project. Yeah, I've got and to say, sorry to cut you short, I've got to say that, you know, the videos that you've put up across the whole of the lockdown period, since the virus has been around, to be honest, you know, this beats a banger. This is how you do this. You know, step by step. It's, a, it's positivity, you know, Yeah, 100%, you know I mean? man. It's, it's a, for me, it's just, it's, it's me projecting my art to the world. And so if someone could take something from it yeah. and do something with it, and create bangers in the future. Yeah. Do you know, I've, I've contributed to that. And it's just, for me, it's just, it's just giving back. Was it, you know, this time around, was it a little bit harder putting something out there without having, you know, normally you get the, the, the feedback from people yeah. that this is going to be a banger or you know what's the trend. But obviously we haven't got that at the moment. Yeah, that's it. So how did it feel this time putting something out? Was it like, I'd be nervous if I was like... I'll be very honest, issue. man. I mean, like with, with Global um, yeah. that we just dropped now, I know if I drop that in the season, people be jumping. Mm. We've seen it yeah, with yeah, Musi yeah. Allah, so you know, you, you, you get that vibe and you kind of need that feedback too. I've got a lot of dance floor tracks that I kind of kept, but I'm just thinking why, do you know what I mean? We can miss another year, potentially, hopefully not. Touch wood, yeah. touch wood. Touch wood. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Don't say uh, that to me. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, you're right, man. Like, it is kind of nerve wracking because you kind of need that feedback to know, am I doing it right? Because you need that direction. But at the same time, I've come to that point that I don't care. I actually don't care anymore, to the point I'm just releasing what I enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I know what people enjoy because I enjoy that music anyway. Yeah. So you start singing yourself, you've brought like a bit more of an international sound to your music, you've you sort of reached out to a wider audience. Do you, do you see your music going that way now? Is I it, think are so. Are you trying to get that wider reach? Yeah, I mean, since doing YouTube, let me, um, I've, I've been hit up by so many different avenues and my musical genre, I mean, like I can pretty much produce a wide range of music. You, you guys have seen that. Pretty yeah. drill to you know, trap to anything, to bhangra, reggaeton, whatever. And um, I think my, I've, I've got kind of a direction now where it's, I want to kind of branch out, not just from bhangra. I enjoy bhangra, I love bhangra. But I want to branch out to a different audience. I'm getting hit by a lot of people, a lot of other YouTube producers, some big names that I'm going to collaborate with. Wicked. So it's, you know, it's, it's a good direction because it's, it's giving other people the confidence thinking, for me, I've always watched these videos and watched other producers and watch, you know, listen to other types of music and thinking, I can't produce that, but I've learned to produce it. And, it's, you know, and if I can do it, I'm telling anyone can do it. 
Stop. This lockdown has been a blessing for people like us yep. that have never really had the time yes, for 100%, family. 100%. Do you know what I mean? And uh, this, is, this is just, I think it's, it's put my life into perspective. Like I can do music this way, choose the gigs that I want to do and spend the time with my fam. Like, I value everybody's view. Everyone's got their opinion. Mm. Everyone's got their view. And if I'm very point blank honest, it's just a song. It's not the first time anyone's done a jock song and it certainly won't be the last time anyone's done a jock song. Mm. Um, and I just find it really strange how I was targeted mm. when there's been about 40 different jock songs in the well, last three months. What were they actually months. saying to you? I don't know. I've um, got it as well. Was it? You know, I, I commented yeah, on his thing, it. on his uh, video. And um, what it is, is people have a problem with the word jot to a certain extent. My view is, there's nothing derogatory in your track. No, there isn't. And you, all you're doing is promoting music which was based on original music that was born on the farms of Punjab. Absolutely. And yeah, it's, it's changed, there's hybrid formats, but at the end of the day, there's no hate in the music. It's more about, it's just love, it's spreading yeah. a bit of positivity in no, the world. Absolutely. I and mean, I think I wrote in your comments as well the same thing. I've got a little bit of flack. Jazz got a little bit of flack from separate yeah, people. Man. I got the most. But, <laughs> You know, surprisingly, I, I didn't get any flack yet with the, with the, with the remix. No. <laughs> you know what it's it is? Fire I think anyone was giving Rajiv any flack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at Rajiv, so free music. <laughs> like I said, half everyone is entitled to their opinion. Mm. Um, I didn't see no malice or agenda when I made the song. Of course, you didn't. No. Sure. And yeah. for me, it's just music, and it's it's a catchy song, like a hella catchy song. Mm. And Rajiv done a remix of it, so clearly people like it. We've passed a million views as well, so which well is a good thing. Um, so for me, like, I value everyone's opinion and I am not promoting any cast which uh, higher than any other. It's just, it's just, it just is what it is. Joy, I, th <laughs> I think the word jut is almost devalued nowadays to the point that it's just a word. That's it's, a, it's just a, a word in a song. used in like, say, hip hop. Uh, and other genres, but it's almost it's like a filler break. word, but it's, it's fun. There's no derogatory sense to it. And I think some people probably take it too far. Um, you know, there's, there's probably a very deep conversation to have on another day, but the face of the value is that we're here just to have, we're music producers, uh, we're DJs, we entertain, and the whole point of everything is no malice, it's just fun. Yeah. And I think we could all agree when the wedding's that speaking, regardless of what's said yeah, in the track, we play everything with just a bit of fun, a bit of josh, and just have a good time, right? I commented on your track, because yeah. firstly, you're my boy. Secondly, I'm gonna support whatever you do in a sense where, you know, I, I, I respect your, your talent. And thirdly, you know, I like the track. Yeah, and I, I thought, yeah, yeah, it's pure fire. Um, <laughs> but I got abused for that. You know, I, I was like, oh, I'm never going to book you for a wedding yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. You're glorifying Ijad and this and that. But I was like, yo, I'm not glorifying anything. You know, you don't even know my life story. My mum's Qatari and my wife's Gujarati. So yeah, exactly, <laughs> I'm a re remix of everything. So think you know what I'm saying? I, I did a song about Ijad and like, I'm not Ijad myself, but I'm, I'm married to a Jati. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a child and a half. So does it really, because I don't believe in the caste system. Yeah. And never have, never will. So for me, it was just a word. Fun word, yeah. used in a song, like seven million other songs. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. I've done nothing different to anybody else. I just made the song you know more the fire. You know what the your problem is? Was, you, you took it globally, that's the problem. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You just done a deal with uh, Movie Box as well, Yeah, right? so it's, a, it's an eight track deal. So it's an album deal with Movie Well Box. done. That's, that's um, a big one coming Well done, well done, well done. Listen, just put it in perspective, you don't really get deals nowadays, especially in the UK no, with you don't. record labels. Yeah. So yeah. that is actually a big thing because Otherwise, you're putting music out from your own pocket, funding your own video, paying the singer, paying the lyricist, and then hoping for the best. And then you've got all these other people cheating the system, trying to pay for YouTube views. So, well done. We'll do the, we'll do anyway, this is the Bobsagoo's night shift. Make some noise. All right, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Bobsagoo. Hey. Hey. This is Bobsagoo's okay. night shift. Right. Hey. Right. Right. right, so listen. Our producer, Mandy's in the air game. Is she? Is she? <laughs> Are you my brother? I yeah, am yeah, brother. Yeah, no, no, no. That's plan? that's the name of the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he threw that. He threw that. The first on, question. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Let's Did start with Jazz you? first. Talk to me. Here we go. I want to talk to you. Okay. Here we go. So, I want each and every Do one of you. Do you write these down? No, no, no. You don't. No, no. You don't know. Okay. 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 
I want you guys to think of one person. Yeah. So one out of you four. You're gonna choose one out of you four. Oh, it has to be our oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, right, cool. so basically, you're gonna choose one other person to accompany you for this. Okay. So I'm gonna ask you five things. We'll start from that side then. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start All with right, Jasper. Put me in a spot. It's cool. So I'm gonna start with Jasper. So, okay. <laughs> um, Drake's called you to DJ at his birthday party. That was yesterday. You know that. <laughs> okay, okay. Drake and the Anyway, <laughs> so who are you gonna take with you out of these mans? You know who the party Sittable animal Sittable. is. <laughs> you know who the party animal Sittable is. Do I, do I need to? Oh, no. um, you have to. Yeah. You have to say it now, and you know. What to do the gig with me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you gonna choose one out of these? Ah, uh, for Drake. That's a tough I'm a different one, role, Chelsea. Oh, know. I'm sorry, man. Drake ain't about you. But he loves Sid the What are you talking about? Man? He actually I'm does. He probably got single. You know what I'm going to do? No, you know you're going to no, say... No, do you have an answer? You know the thing is, if I choose Chunky or Rajiv, it's going to be a hard one, yeah? So I'm going to choose Hav. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you know you're going to get a complaint from that gig, innit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already got the complaint now. There you go. So go on, go on. I'll take so Hav. Got, do we have to answer that? Yeah, no, man. Well. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's going to answer. Your turn. Don't hate me because I chose Hav. I was never going to choose Jazz. <laughs> I was going to choose Rajiv. Ooh. Ooh. Mr. Hav? Jazz. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Diplomatic, yeah, Rajiv. <laughs> you know what? I would have chose Jack. Ah, yeah? but you have to do. <laughs> but you know, yeah, he, he didn't choose me. Oh no, yeah? you can't choose about that. <laughs> yeah, I choose chunks. Oh, yes. there you go. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know Drake knows as well. Yeah. Okay, next question. He phoned me. <laughs> Roger, here we go. You're getting into a fight. Who are you gonna call Rajiv. for backup? <laughs> <laughs> I would have said that too. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't call Rajiv. I wouldn't call it. He's a really slow driver. You mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> really, really no, that's question bad. number five. <laughs> I would probably call Hav. Oh, I'm going to change my answer. Actually, depends. Where's the fight happening? <laughs> <laughs> I will call Rajiv. I'm being I'm going not Rajiv. I'll definitely call Rajiv. Hav's too nice. He'll make it. I'd call myself. He's going to call the police. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's the hardest guy that we know. Is he? Yeah. John, yeah. normally I'd call H because he's out for a fight. <laughs> Rajiv. Uh, oh, hang on, wait. Uh, oh, <laughs> who's Hav got? How do you call anyone? Everyone's Who's here. Uh, Jazz got some connects in East London. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in East London. The wrong JJ. We'll call, yeah, he's I'll call the next location, JJ. Right. <laughs> go, on, uh, go on then, Rajiv. Go on, choose. Yeah, I'll probably call Jazz as well. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah. Fair but, but, play. But, but, See, don't fuck with short people. Yeah, man. They can like... <laughs> they know tall people. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, because I'm putting you for a chunk. Yeah, you in it. They're chunky. Jazz for jokes. I love this. Anyway, question number three. Half. You've robbed the bank. Who's going to be your getaway driver? It won't be Rajiv. Yeah, it won't be Rajiv. No. I oh. think he Rajiv drives right, badly slow, man. man. Oh, man. Uh, Jazz is quite a good driver. This one. If H is got poor concentration. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chucky just got his license. <laughs> Back. Back. Like He's probably years, the best right? one then. <laughs> Chucky doesn't feel like a new driver. I'm the best driver in India, guys. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. Do you know uh, Jazz's test has got a bit of torque, so I have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, everyone will call me. We can do the batteries flat. You know what? They're just afraid that you're not going to let them be on the show next week. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not the M4, I would have chosen you. Even I, I, can I say who I would choose? I actually know. You know, I'm going to go first. Go on. Rajiv right. next. If I was. Ro- uh, I'll choose Trunks. Oh, fair play. Because he knows how to rob banks, isn't it? <laughs> no, I know how to get away. <laughs> He's a get away. <laughs> away. You got to know the whole plan. You got to know the whole plan from start to finish. Go on, talk to me. To rob a bank properly. That's you next time. That's all. I'll choose Hav. I'll choose Hav as well. Can He'd I say why? Oh, the, yeah. uh, <laughs> I was going to say nothing, but he... he why? He used to be a copper. He, he, he's yeah, a pig, innit? He he's a fed. <laughs> he's <laughs> a fed, innit? <laughs> Don't come. He's a fed. We rub him. Oh, fed. Okay, question, <laughs> question number four for Rajiv. Okay? You need an alibi. Who are you going to call to back your story? What, what, what do you mean? He's going to be a homie. An alibi for, I don't know. Oof. <laughs> Knock it! No, no, no. <laughs> this geezer. Who can catch? Who Who's going to catch on? Who's going to catch on to the blaggers? No, yeah? they're all blaggers. You know? All right. You're not so much. They're more blaggers than you. No, what are you talking about? It's him. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I'd catch on to it quicker. You I'd, would, you I'd would. I'd yeah. yeah. right now. No. Yeah. I'm all right. I'm living there. We don't need that sort of thing. Yeah, Jazz. If you rang me and you said whatever, I'd be like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I wouldn't clock on straight. I'd vote for me. I'd vote for me. Jazz, all day Jazz all day long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I just, would say I'm, jazz. I'm very well. I mean, everyone said jazz. Smart, isn't isn't it? Yeah, I'm very intelligent. That's I ain't gonna lie. I'm <laughs> very intelligent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Judge Johan. This is a very, very important one. Who would you trust with your Insta account? No, this is serious. Ooh. What, us, us, us guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is the worst. 
for me. Yeah, would you think? He would take all your pictures famous, and, and store them in folders and then throw them out at you. Oh, you nasty. And this and you're nasty. He's piece got secret of... folders on his phone. Yeah. Yeah. Has he? Oh, has he? Yeah, you can't trust him. He breaks the world. Nah, 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 oh. I would never. Who, 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 who would you vote for? Oh, oh, Jazz. You let me you have, let jazz oh. have your password to Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very trusting wow. you like that. I don't know about that. Go on. I don't, I don't. Jazz will secretly put your pictures in the WhatsApp groups, so I would say. Yeah. Don't tell Rajiv that you've seen your picture. <laughs> just, just put it out there. I've oh, had... hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> Is that oh, your no. thing? I know all his passwords. Yeah, 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 go on. Everyone, I, I've had access to uh, DJ H's Facebook. Everyone's got access to DJ H's Facebook, Instagram. Put Even them. I have? Put no, 12. for our live viewers, Whoa. let's just tell them what is the password. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will guess H's No, password. but 10 years ago, it was really interesting. Then he got married, and it's got less interesting. But <laughs> I would have chosen myself. Uh, but the question I is, myself, out of us four here, who would you choose? four here, I'd probably give it to Chonks. Yeah, because you could trust me with that. I yeah. give you, a you idiot. Chonks, what about you? 100%. I would give it, not definitely not him. Definitely not him, because I, I get the messages from him. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll definitely yeah. give them. I've seen all your pictures, trust me. That's right. Yeah, who sends you the pictures you edit? You. Yeah! He's <laughs> the worst, he's the worst. I'll give it to Hov, I'll give it to Hov. Can I ask you, so the video that you I think I'll win this one. No, I think the whole... No, actually show no, no, all right. no. Who wins? I think Palamans. Hang on, I haven't he finished wins. it. Me, me, me. <laughs> who, who me, me, me. <laughs> I'll give my password to uh, Hov. There you go. Say two oh. things, yeah. I want to say hur and a big thank you to, to our man. brother, Mr. Bupsagoo. Hey. 